Well, people from all over the country are in New Mexico right now for the 102nd annual Santa Fe Indian Market, which of course is known for our business and the huge impact it has on our state. Julian Bada is cut up with artists and organizers today. But now it's really from coast to coast, border to border, and it, it's the best and it's the finest uh, uh, native artists in the country. Tom T. Garden is a board member for the Santa Fe Indian Market. He says it just gets better every year. The artists put their heart and soul into everything that they create, and the stories of that come out here. The artists themselves say it's a blessing to be part of a celebration like this because it's so highly anticipated. More than that, they enjoy being able to see the people they have grown to love over the years. You're, you're coming here and you're meeting um, artists that you have been here, I mean, and, and made friends with and family. Uh, they become part of your family. Tea Garden says it's a huge deal for the city of Santa Fe. Thousands of people come to enjoy the atmosphere and the celebrations that come with the Santa Fe Indian Market. This is the biggest economic weekend in Santa Fe of the entire year. And it's not only for these artists, for whom many, it's, it's the, the biggest uh, economic event of the year for them. Artists tell us they can't wait for next year, as some have been part of this event for decades. We're inspired by them as well to win for the next year of what we're producing. For KOAT Action 7 News, I'm Julian Paras. And if you missed out today, don't worry. The Indian market goes on tomorrow at the Santa Fe Plaza from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m.